Hello again, everyone. Let's do another physics problem. Well, we're still in chapter one, measurement. So this is so I guess technically this could apply to just like general math and general units and conversion. But let's get on with it nonetheless. A gry is an old English measure for length, defined as a tenth of a line, where line is another old English measure for length, defined as a twelfth of an inch. A common measure for length in the publishing business is a point defined as a 72nd of an inch. What is an area of a, of a 0 0.50 grise squared in points squared? Points to the power 2. Now this question is a little bit more... This problem is a bit trickier than the last one, but it's still manageable because it involves conversions. and uh, In fact, multiple conversions because we're given a lot of information about different units. And questions like this actually come up a lot, apparently. People have asked me about similar questions in the past. And they can be a bit daunting, especially when you're presented with new units that you're not familiar with. But as long as you just simply keep track of what's what and what converts into what, and map out those conversions, uh, then it actually can be a bit easier. And let me show you what I mean by that. So we are trying to convert a certain number of grays squared into points squared. And just for a second, just for a second, let's ignore the point 0.5 for a minute, because before we plug in the actual values we're given, we'll first want to actually get a conversion factor between these gry squared and the point squared. So, in fact, with the information we're given, let's actually even ignore the square for just a, a quick second, and let's just find a way to get a conversion factor between a gry and a point using the information we're given. So let's start with a gry because that's what we want to get it from. Uh, oh, okay. So one gry is equal to, and the only information we're given but the gry itself connects it to the line. So for now, we have no choice but to convert it into the gry. So it says here that the, uh, the gry is defined as a tenth of a line tenth of a line. So let's multiply it by that. So a tenth of a line is equal to gry. So what that means is that for every ten grys, it'll be that'll be one line. And the reason why that's important, the reason why I'm including the little units, is because when you Con when you do conversion factors like this, it's pretty important to keep track of which side, uh, which whether the whether which units go on the numerator and the denominator. And I'll explain why in just a second. So once we put in this uh, conversion factor, now that we've converted this to, into lines, but now but that's not what we want. We want to get it into points. So the only other information we're given with a line is that it's twelfth of an inch. So let's put it into 1 12 now, where a twelfth of an inch is a line. So for every 12 lines, that is 1 inch. So now we've converted to inches. Now here's where you might, here's where it might trip someone up, because now we've converted into inches but we still want to get into points. And hey, we are given some information about points versus inches, because it says here that a point is defined as a 72nd of an inch. Now this does not mean that you can then multiply by 172, because this would be very wrong, actually. And let me explain why, because this, this comes back to what I just said a moment ago regarding those conversion factors. So I've been, this is why I've been making note of the little units to demonstrate something. So in order for us to convert into points, in order, well, in order for us to make any conversion, we have to cancel out the bad unit, not, not bad unit, we want to cancel out the unit that we're going from. So here we've got gry in the, essentially it's the numerator, if we, without, with a denominator of one, so we don't write it, but essentially the, the gry is in the numerator. And here, in what we're multiplying it by, this gry is in the denominator, which cancels out the grys in the long run. That's why, and the same thing with the lines. So that's why we write it that way. But in this case, in this case, we're told that the point, that one point, 
is equal to 1 over 72. Uh, oops, whoa. <laughs> 72, 172 of an inch. However, what this means is that for every, uh, for every 72 points, as we know from the fact that this unit, the point unit would have to be in the denominator to cancel out, that's one inch. Now, if we were to put this into our conversion formula like this, that would not cancel out because that means that both the inch and the other inch are going to be in the numerator, which it isn't actually going to give us our conversion. So what we'll do is flip it, get the, the reciprocal. So in reality, what we're really multiplying by here is 72 points. So that way, our, uh, our imaginary, I say imaginary because, again, we typically don't write denominators and it's over 1. But it'll do it anyway just to show it off. But here in our denominator, then that's 1 inch, where the inches are now canceling out. And that will be the full conversion into points, which, if you do the math, e is equal to about 0 0.60 or 0 0.60 points. So that is our conversion from 1 gry to 0.6 point. Still not exactly what we want to find, though, since we're working with gry squared and point squared. So let's just square both sides. So 1 gry squared. Uh, if we square the gry, 1 squared is just still 1, so that hasn't changed. But uh, that's going to be equal... 2.0 or point or sorry about that whoops whoa this is going to be equal to 0. 0.6 gry squared or 0. 0.6 point squared whoopsie daisy which if you square the 0. 0.6 is equal to 0. 0.36 point squared So now that we've done that, now we have our final conversion here. We have our, we have our final conversion factor between uh, the, 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 gri, the one gry squared and uh, the point squared, which is 0 0.36. So now let's actually use the values we're given. So we're told to find the area of 0.5 gry squared in point squared. So to get from 0.5 gry squared, we're basically dividing this in half. So that means that 0 0.50 gry is squared in area. It's, in, it's a good thing that we have for uh, our unit squared because that's how we know it's area. And it's going to be equal to 0 0.36 point squared divided by 2, which is going to be 0 0.18 points squared. And that is the area.